and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm super excited to get into today's video because today we're doing a pick a card on what's going on in love this week, okay? So before we get started, you can hit me up on Etsy. It is in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading for your projection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private read from me, okay? Don't forget to like this video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you feel called to and other than that, we're just gonna jump right in, okay? So pause the video if you need to and yes, you can pick more than one pile. But we have group one with the pink stone, group two with the clear stone, group three with the orange stone, and group four with the red stone. So just take three deep mindful breaths, center yourself, center your intuition, and then pick the pile or the piles that you're being called to, and we're just going to get started. All right, group one with the pink stone. Let's jump right into it. What's going on in love for you this week? So... Someone from the past is gonna be knocking at your door, okay? The first card that we have that was under your stone is reconciliation. At the bottom of this card, it says someone from your past is returning to your life. So let's see how things are gonna unfold. Let's see how things are gonna go. Hmm. Timing, I'm hearing, timing. Pay attention to the timing. That's gonna be significant for you guys. Instead of trying to figure out um, either through their behavior or your behavior, um, or like uh, just pay attention to the timing of this person coming back. We have free yourself and this could be the one. Now I do get a bittersweet ending from this. And also I honestly feel like for some of you, you are gonna reconcile with this person but you're gonna have to you know this is an opportunity to free yourself from that past cycle so you're really gonna have to communicate how you feel what you think what you know really set that ground because the ball is in your court this person is coming back to you so make sure you take this opportunity for what it is if they want to re-enter your life set your ground rules you know you've already learned in the past that you know, holding back and trying to allow things to just naturally fall into place doesn't really work either with this person or because of the circumstances. So make it clear what it is you need this time around. But for, your, for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Some of you guys are separating. I'm getting about 50-50 with this group. Some of you guys are recon, uh, reconciling with this person. Some of you guys are taking this as a uh, opportunity for closure because honestly, a lot of times we don't get closure. People don't come back into our lives and admit their faults and tell us like you know that they're sorry and apologize for the things that they've done so some of you guys are taking advantage of this opportunity like listen I really don't want to talk to this person I don't want to hear from you and I'm mad that my eyes are even wasting um, their time looking at you but I'm gonna allow you to apologize so I can free myself from this cycle because from some of you it's like you kind of hate the fact that you even think about this person because it's like you don't want to be with them. But timing comes in for you guys, those of you guys who are not reconciling with this person, is evident because there's someone new entering the picture. It could be right after or right before. But if you feel like you're really actually splitting away from this person and allowing yourself to move on, that's how timing is significant because it's like cycles are closing. Pay attention to the timing. That's going to tell you everything you need to know. Um, you've already met the romantic partner you seek is what it says at the bottom of this card. Only thing I don't love about the romance angel cards is that they factor in time in some of them because like I said this could be like you know you just actually decided to let go like with the last full moon you just decided to let go of this person um and now there's going to be someone new coming in that's actually the one for you you know but that person may not be here quite yet so don't hang on to that part of the card but um this is definitely confirmation that what you've been wanting and looking for is on the way so let's see what else is going on with you guys. Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. It is in reverse and the Ten of Wands. That's definitely cycle completion, you guys. Admitting that our time is up, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, there's nothing else I can really get from this connection or I just choose to go on a different path. I've done that before as well. I've had the opportunity to reconcile with people. And of course, you know, uh, you can build a new beginning. Humans are, we're limitless. Like. You know we can make it work you can make it work but sometimes you just choose not to like i don't want to and i don't have to put a bunch of reason behind that i just don't want to and i'm gonna honor my intuition so i'm sorry if you're looking for some sort of grand huge reason but sometimes it's just a feeling in your spirit like i gotta let this go or i choose to let this go so there's a lot going on you guys but yeah with that wheel in reverse here 
some of you guys are really closing the cycle and moving on and then it's just kind of like everything kind of really does fall into place um, in terms of new romance entering your life. Yeah, pay, oh, not the five and the seven of swords coming out. <laughs> pay attention. Look at who this person for who they are and what they do. I feel like you guys, you always take this five of swords position with people or with this person. It's like they really do have a soft spot um, because you give them the benefit of the, of the doubt. But I feel like you've done that one too many times and a lot of you guys are moving on. You're not continuing to move forward, but there's always just like this glimmer of hope and that's what keeps you in this cycle. Seven of uh, Swords, this is like an energy of calling a spade a spade. The universe is like, listen, yes, this person has potential and that's what you hang on to time and time again. But at the end of the day, you know, call a spade a spade. Like, you know, they're a wolf. They're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, maybe the sheep's clothing is like the um, rose-colored glasses that you just see them in. But we got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, this is this is someone who will just always choose themselves someone who's selfish someone who doesn't come together and share a cup someone who doesn't have the capacity to share and um i just had this conversation with my son the other day um i was talking to him because he had did something that really annoyed me that he knew he wasn't supposed to do and i i i just broke it down to him i'm like listen we all have a good and a bad side but what makes you a good person is that you choose the good side okay we all have the ability to do bad things there's so many things i could do i could spend all of our coins okay on 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 you know clothes and and and, and stuff i don't need but i don't because the good thing to do is to make sure that we're taken care of and and that's the energy that i get here with you guys it's just like you know you you hang on because you understand but at the same time this person the choices that they make you know and the fact that they're not a hundred percent a bad person is probably what kind of keeps you here um attached to this person because you're like ah, if they just chose the right thing but you know this person is not choosing the right thing so sometimes even if they're not a completely horrible person doesn't mean you 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 still have to you know you shouldn't let go yeah the cards are just like repeating the same thing over and over again three of swords um honestly i feel like the universe wants you to open up to the possibilities of new love for most of you even those of you who are choosing to reconcile like i said i felt 50 50 like 50 percent of you are going to reconcile 50 percent are you going to open yourself up to new love and close the cycle but it may be 60 40 like 40 percent of you are going to reconcile 60 percent are going to um you know take the closure and move on but the universe is really kind of you know trying to get you to open up to new possibilities we got Sephiroth b with ascension that just came out i just feel like you know it's like that saying like you're here i'm there and neither of us are ever both here or there i don't know it's like a quote from some movie i was watching this weekend which is why i thought about it but it's like that energy where it's like yeah they could choose to be a good person and you see them you see that space and time where they're exactly what you need them to be but they choose not to be there and you've ascended and you've grown even through your last breakup or your last like tiff you had with this person you've ascended and now it's just like this person really is not a vibrational match for most of you a very 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 small percentage of you mm, maybe this person could get there but um i really feel like endings should happen but you could choose to to enter the cycle again um move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here um absolutely i feel like the times that's it's that's just the time it is for you guys like we're, there's an opportunity here is what I can say an opportunity for you to move forward and to have something that's on this new cycle that you're in and this new cycle is going to include better options for you because you've ascended so you're at a higher frequency so there's better and better and better things that um, you know you'll attract in this vibration we have Odin with psychic psychic insight uh, your third eye is open see truth for what it is follow your intuition absolutely um your intuition is really speaking to you pay attention to that intuitively you know um what you should do but that's what's going on in love for you guys this week okay you can hit me up on etsy if you want a private tarot read don't forget to like this video please i appreciate it subscribe to my channel and that was your pile i'll talk to you later 
Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group two with the clear diamond. Let's get right into it. What is going on for you guys in love? Ooh. So the first card we have that was under your stone is getting to know each other. Good, good energy to start. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Immediately, um, I was picking up on someone's work connection. It's like you guys have like these lulls, either when there isn't a lot of customers where you can talk to each other. If this is a call center, like you may stand, someone may stand up um, in their cubicle, or if this is like a hosting, waitressing job or something like that, like when it's slower, like people may, you know, kind of stand around and talk to each other. Um, I'm getting a big work vibe. This could also be you getting to know, of course, someone that you don't work with and your bond deepening. It's kind of like we're moving past like the excitement of it all and we're getting real is what I'm hearing. Oh Lord. I was also hearing dating app and it's funny because we have release your ex. Ooh. And then we have love on love yourself first, which I didn't see before. So this may be on your end. It's going to, of course, differ from person to person, but release your ex. I feel like you're tempting someone to fully walk away from their ex. Like they're getting to know you deeper and they're starting to like you more than just the excitement of getting to know someone new. It's like you guys are actually getting to know each other. Um, but then with that love yourself first, some of you guys are kind of feeling a little guilty because you are growing in feelings for someone else and I, I don't know there's just like this door it's kind of just cracked open a little bit or things haven't ended like with a big huge bang so it's like you still kind of feel like there's something left between you and your ex to explore so there's a lot of mixed emotions and mixed feelings um, with you guys group too but you are getting to know someone better Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. Love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for those of you who are still hung up on an ex on your end, the universe is saying, listen, there's a new person in your path that I'm kind of tempting you with. Um, and this could be the person that could help you actually release that cycle and release your ex. And then for some of you, you're gonna know where you stand because if it's not you that has the ex, then you're gonna know it's the other person. Um, you're really tempting them as they're getting to know you, so they're intrigued. Um, and then we have past life relationships, so that's why the feelings are so strong and intense and confusing in this pile because with the past life relationship, at the bottom of the card it says you've known each other before, it's like you resonate with, with this person. It's not because of the way they look, it's not because of the way they act, the way they dress, it's their spirit. You resonate with their spirit. Energetically, you feel something with this person. And I've been seeing that like the last, this whole year, I've been seeing a lot more energetic connections. And it's probably because we've ascended um, to the point as a collective where we honor our intuition and really lean into it. And a lot of people are taking spiritual paths. So it's like, of course, we're also going to experience those energetic connections um, more and more. But with you guys, I'm feeling that super strong. So let's see. Okay, this one wanted to jump out. Ooh, tempting. Five of Swords in reverse. You are tempted to make the wrong decision here, regardless of what that is. Tempted to word vomit and say too much. Tempted to, ooh, I'm getting an energy of some of you guys are tempted to be like, listen, I don't, I, I like you, but promise me you won't hurt me. Like you're, you're tempted to ask the questions that you shouldn't ask or tempted to show people that you're a little bit insecure by telling this person what you've been through and, and, and kind of putting it on them, you know, to take care of your emotions. Like I'm, I'm getting some temptation this week. We got the Queen of Cups, beautiful. Ooh, the Six of Cups. Judgment in reverse and the Seven of Swords. There are two, oh my God, in the bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is union energy at the bottom of the deck. So that's the underlying energy of your situation of this week for you guys. It's like you have the opportunity to grow deeper in feelings for someone, to really give yourself to them, but there's a part of you that is still stuck in the past and it's a little bit toxic or it leans towards like, maybe you're you're tempted to start some drama this week so you can really feel cared for. 
I used to do that. I used to do that all the time. It was so <coughs> freaking toxic. The first person I ever dated was so cold. So from them, I developed this super toxic trait of making my partners jealous. And then once I finally got in a relationship with someone who really cared about me, I would make them jealous all the time because I needed to be like confirmed all the time like that you care about me by making you go crazy. And that's just so freaking toxic. And I'm using myself as an example and exposing myself so you guys can understand that you are not alone, not to feel guilty about, you know, your toxic uh, traits. We all have a, a, a shadow side and a higher side. Um, you know, it's not about pretending that you don't have a shadow side or feeling bad that you do. It's a part of you. It's just about making the right choices and being aware of the temptations, especially of this week. Six of Cups, that's that's a gift from the universe. The universe put this person in your path for a reason, which is why it's a past life connection. Queen of Cups, you're equally yoked, you're worthy, you guys, but uh, judgment in reverse and the seven of, of um, swords, this is like an energy of the universe kind of testing you a little bit and, and some of you guys are failing the test, but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna still get what you want. It's just like, you know, when you fail a test, that doesn't mean that you fail the whole grade. You still have all your other work in the year to kind of prove yourself. You can still get an A, even if you fail one test. But, you know, so don't put too much weight on that. I'm gonna keep the four wands here so I can remember we had that. But um, it's just, you know, things are either gonna be revealed for you this week or you're gonna be able to move forward this week. Um, it just depends on where you are on that spectrum and if you fall prey to the temptation to, um, show your behind a little bit. All right, let's see who's with you this week. <clears throat> Who is with group two this week? We got the we got the Miriam, Lady Portia, and the Sh and the Shekinah, Sacred Self, Divine Order, and Sacred Vision. So everything is existing in perfect harmony this week. Look at this one though, <laughs> the twins. So it's like the higher self and the lower self trying to coexist this week. Who's gonna win? We'll see. The Miriam, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light and remember that love has no boundaries. So trust that just like you're a being of divine love and you have the ability to give yourself fully to someone that someone else does, you know? Hang on to hope, hang on to hope this week, okay? Uh, Lady Portia with Divine Order, do what you feel is right, an important lesson is unfolding. It's like 50-50, I was getting that with group one too. 50-50 um, this week, some of you guys are gonna, like I said, learn the lesson and you'll still be able to move forward after that. Some of you guys are just gonna be able to move forward. And then we have the Shekinah with Sacred Self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So the universe is basically telling you to take it on the chin. Whatever happens this week, don't spiral into oblivion and think that you messed it up. This, this person, because they resonate with you so much, just like you resonate with them, they're not gonna dip out on you anyways just because of a little mistake, but really try to hold yourself back, okay? Um, because there's, there's an opportunity here. Very interesting group, you guys. You can hit me up on Etsy in the description if you want your own private tarot reading. Don't forget to like the video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, and that was your pile. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven-day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group three with the orange stone. Let's get right into it. What's going on in love for you guys this week? So, the first card that we have that was under your stone is healing family issues. That's always good. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents is what it says at the bottom of this card. You guys, I am really feeling conversations happening this week. And um, 
I feel like rightfully so, some of you have blamed your parents for the way that you love because you didn't have the best example of love growing up and you're either internally deciding, I have to let this go, it's been getting in my way long enough and sure, I wasn't raised with the best circumstances, but I do want the best future for myself. I want to be happy, I want to experience love, so I have to let this go for my sake. And it's not about you know forgiving them so they can move on la-di-da and live a great life free of guilt for the crap that they put me through as a kid. I gotta let this go for me because I want more for me. So some of you guys are, you know, healing family issues within yourself, like on an independent level. Some of you guys, the holidays, okay, are triggering some conversations, some uncomfortable conversations. It's, honestly, there may uh, be an uncomfortable holiday dinner this year because it's just like you can't, you can't hide and hold back anymore, you know? Like me personally, I'm not even going to Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not going because I'm not thankful, you know, for some of the people um, who I grew up with, for some of my family, and that's just the honest to goodness truth. Your family, and in my opinion, are the people who choose to be there for you and to show up and to support you and vice versa, the people who genuinely love you. Whether or not you were raised with them and born with them, you know, the people who choose to be there with the time that they have now. That's family to me. Family, unfortunately, isn't always the people who raised you or who you grew up around. And it's an extremely hard pill to swallow. But 2021 was the year of girl pulling back that curtain. Take a look. Hey, <laughs> you know, I got to throw in the Drake reference. I just have to. I can't help it. But uh, the year of, of, of illusions being revealed and, and stripped. And this is the honest to goodness truth. We got soulmate and true love for you guys that came up. And this is exactly why you're pulling back the curtain and you're saying, listen, this is what it is. This is exactly what it is. You're shining a light on exactly what happened to you, what you went through, how it made you feel, on, on who did it, whatever, um, so that you can have that sharp heart chakra awakening and, and move on. Um, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. For I can hear some of you guys like in the ethers like, oh no, you're gonna be sad on Thanksgiving. Trust and believe I'm not, baby. Because one thing about me is I'm an only child. I'd rather be alone than around people I don't like. Um, and also I have, I have a kid, you know, I got my children. I got a baby myself, so we're gonna have a cute little dinner trust. Like, I'm cooking, I'm going in, it's gonna be cute and filled with love because I'm genuinely grateful for him and he saved my life and um he loved his mama so it's gonna be good vibes don't worry but anyways we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together exactly like i just feel like this blow of the heart chakra for you guys like your heart chakra is opening up i'm really feeling some solar plexus action as well so you may be really like this is who i am this is what i want for me you know stripping back the illusions these are the people that i have to spend my time with because they did this for me they took care of me like so what <laughs> so what literally so what it is what it is yeah Ooh. we have the hierophant and the uh four of coins as I cut the deck, that's the energy of really tapping into your inner wisdom. Like I, I don't try it and try it again, time and time again to, to love people. And it hasn't worked out because I have this thing that's holding me back or I've tried and tried again with these certain friends or family members. Like I got to reserve my energy for a pentacles. I have to hold myself back, you know? So I'm proud of you guys. Let's see what else comes up. Oh my God, we have the sun card, victory, victory, victory. You see, it's crazy how bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. This is you moving forward and genuinely, genuinely being able to offer your love and all that you are to someone because you're not afraid because of what you've been through and you don't feel obligated because the people that come into your life and love you correctly deserve your love. So it's not like I'm giving you this and this and this because I feel like you're going to leave me or because I feel obligated because of, you know, gender roles or whatever, whatever. It's because it's like I'm giving you this cup because you deserve it and I want to and that's so exciting. Like I'm so... I'm so happy and so proud of you guys. Like I really am. That is, that is, that is, this is a huge deal. It's crazy how you work on um, things that are totally unrelated to what you really want and it benefits your love life, you know, or whatever 
area of your life you're trying to manifest. We got the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands finally completing the cycle. And because you finally completed the cycle, you can put down that cycle. Relieve yourself. You're lighter. Eight of Wands. Things are moving rather quickly, you guys. Some of you guys are going to be married in the year 2022. Mark my words. I better get an invitation to the wedding, okay? I better get an invitation. Um, because you guys tapping into this energy, it's just like because you truly let go of the load, um, you get so much. Things finally start to move quickly. And you may have experienced um, a life of things not working out. Seven of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse. That's an energy of not feeling like, you know, you're, you're picked or chosen, you know, and you didn't want to be like, someone absolutely thirsty for love but you may have been because you were because you didn't get enough as a kid that's the honest truth like don't be embarrassed about it embrace it pinpoint exactly where it comes from and and accept the truth for what it is so you can actually like find comfort you know instead of being embarrassed for the way you are say listen i'm gonna address this and this is what it truly is so you can fully be released you guys you guys are definitely doing the most work this week. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords. So it's not easy, but you're communicating truth from the heart. Seven of Wands in reverse, you're not you're not filling anyone's cup who doesn't deserve it anymore. And that's just that's just what it is, you know. You're moving on. And um because of that, you get true love, you get to experience a honeymoon, like time of just bliss and happiness and actually like literally, it's like you look at the world and it, it looks different. Like it almost genuinely looks different. I don't know how to explain it. Like sometimes there's like such a drastic shift in energy that things literally appear to be different. It's just like, yeah, Sephiroth B with uh, Ascension, at the bottom of this card, it says, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. The uh, light is coming to take back everything the darkness stole. I am so proud of you guys, like seriously. And I'm a sentimental cancer, so, you know, I really feel this in the heart space and I know how hard it is to do, so. <sighs> wow, we got the Shekinah with sacred self. Like you're really saying, this is who I am, this is who I do, this is who I do not want in my life. And this is what I will and will not accept. This is what I deserve. You're ascending. You're really moving towards the light. And you're protecting yourself like people who should have didn't. You guys, you guys, I'm not going to cry. But wow, it's like such a powerful heart chakra based group. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. It sounds cheesy, but genuinely, I'm telling you guys, like, we had the sun card that came out for you. I'm surprised the freaking world card didn't come out because of how much you're getting and how different things feel, you know? And in the moment, like, if things go down at the family function, it's not going to feel good, okay? You know? It's, it's, it's just not. But... There is so much, the grass really is greener on the other side. Like there's so much, uh, oh my God, amazing love and life waiting for you. That's what I have for you guys this week, okay? You can hit me up on Etsy if you want a private tarot reading. Don't forget to like this video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and that was your pile. I'll talk to you later. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group four with the redstone. Let's get right into it. What is going on in love for you guys this week? So the first card that we have that was under your stone is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring is what it says at the bottom of this card. Uh, immediately, I kind of get this energy of a back and forth. It doesn't feel like tit for tat. It doesn't feel as extreme as hot and cold, but I definitely feel some games being played. And it's kind of fun to be honest, because it's like you get a little and then, you know, they go cold a little bit. So it naturally makes you want them even more. But I'm getting an energy with romantic feelings where it's like, okay, I gotta admit how I'm feeling about this person or someone else is feeling tired. They're like, I'm, I'm done playing games, okay? I actually like you. Do you like me? Like, let's move forward with this. I'm getting that type of energy here. 
your feelings are real and worth exploring this is with someone you already know someone you've already been kind of flirting with or talking to like I said I get a back and forth energy where one day they're super attentive and the next day they're not or something something's kind of keeping you like questioning and things like that um, for some of you your feelings are deepening for someone you didn't know you had feelings for as well Ooh, we have the engagement card so there's a commitment being made this week for you guys let's see what's going on in love this week for group four okay cool for some of you this person is coming in we have the very soon card so for those of you who don't really resonate because you don't have anyone in your life quite yet this person is coming in clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now also this is definitely applying for those of you who are already in a connection because the universe is like listen do you want this to end up like uh, a, a situation where it just fizzles out because both of you kind of get frustrated like neither of you is dropping the act and admitting how you feel so it just kind of fizzles out or like you know decide what it is you actually want um, this to turn into because the situation is manifesting into something bigger engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment also like i said for those of you who don't have anyone that you're talking to right now they're coming in rather soon i would say within the next two weeks i won't say like oh they're coming in the next seven days um but yeah the next two weeks so give or take um engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment though so i do feel like communication is gonna happen this week where it's like okay this is what i'm feeling like are we gonna move forward from this phase because I don't know, I'm not really having fun anymore. I kind of just want your love. We got the honeymoon card. Maybe a little a little bit of resistance just because they really like um, the energy that you guys have now, but I feel like they'll come around. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together is what it says at the bottom of that card. So right now the universe is really kind of telling you to embrace uh, the energy that you do have now because things things can change and you know the fun can be sucked out of the situation at any moment so embrace the fun part don't you know rush to a relationship per se allow the feelings to grow and um the commitment you have to each other to grow but don't be in a rush for just the title so you can feel like you know allow yourself to feel every moment of the connection we got the moon card here. Yeah, there's a there's there's an energy of not knowing what this person is thinking and feeling, and I think that's the part that's driving you crazy. Yeah, Ace of Swords, the suit of swords is all about communication. So it's like uh, we need to get on the same page because I'm not gonna be confused about this. Like, do you like me? Because at this point, I don't know. Maybe if someone's feelings got hurt or someone dragged the joke out a little bit too much. So it's like do you like me because that was actually kind of mean or that hurt my feelings and because you guys haven't allowed yourself to really open up it's like you kind of got to give them the benefit of doubt because common sense ain't so common and if you guys have been on the surface level thing for a while they don't know what offends you and what doesn't i was just talking about this the other day like some of my friends i call them the v word as a word of endearment but some of my other friends like really don't like it they're not having it don't call them no like they're not feeling that and so it's like a matter of perspective, you know, and I feel like because you guys don't really know each other. Page of Pentacles in reverse, like you haven't really taken things to a deeper level because you guys don't know each other on that deeper level. Like, I don't feel like they meant to hurt you. It's just like, or maybe things got out of hand. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands. So that's quick movement. But that's quick move in either way. Like this can move quickly into, um, uh, you know, both of you guys opening up more and, you know, being more truthful with each other. This could also like quickly move into like a unfulfilling situation. I don't think you will. Well, you guys are a really good match. We got the strength card and the 10 of pentacles. I like the 10 of pentacles more than the 10 of cups because the 10 of pentacles signifies long-term stability. Strength card uh, signifies being able to recover if the situation did get a little bit out of hand. Five of cups in reverse is kind of moving past whatever hurts you or moving past the past. We got the star. 
at the bottom of the deck, which is always good vibes. I'm gonna keep that so I can remember I had it. So the underlying energy is that this situation has a lot of potential. Hierophant, you're gonna have to open up and you know it. You're going to have to open up. You're gonna have to be honest about how you feel in this connection. Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> yeah, there's gonna have to be an opening up of energy and someone's gonna have to do it. I think the universe is suggesting that you do it, to be honest, um, only because you can only control what you do, but we have the King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse is allowing yourself to be a little vulnerable. Uh, the King of Wands is a very passionate energy and kind of just laying it out there like, listen, this is how I feel about you. I know we've been doing the Friends with Benefits thing for a while and honestly, in the beginning, that is all I wanted, but I'm actually starting to feel things for you. And bottom of the deck, now we got the Seven of Cups. So to be honest, that's like an energy of, listen, you did invoke an energy in me and I, I realize that I, I do want more of a long-term relationship or something more committed so we need to have a conversation to go in that direction like or we need to kind of you know move towards that or making it clear that this is what you want now um, because seven of cups you know at the bottom of the deck you do have options to be honest even if you don't see it from a universal perspective the universe is saying is listen is the universe is saying listen if this person's not trying to play ball seven of cups I can link you with someone else if your intentions change you know there's this tweet I saw on Twitter it was like normalize changing your opinion after you get more information and that's exactly what I feel here with you guys where it's like okay don't feel guilty that now you want something that you didn't say you wanted in the beginning because now you do so it is what it is like and if they can't give you that the universe is saying well listen I can listen I could bring somebody else through um, but there's a lot of pen, uh, potential with you guys ten of coins and the strength card, the star, a lot of potential with you guys. And uh, with that hair fan, it's like both of you guys know that there's that potential here. Uh, we got Bridget with inner strength and Lord Shiva with transcendence, you guys. Tapping into your inner st strength to transcend the situation, to get something more out of it. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power, absolutely. So this is going to be hard for some of you guys, but you have a lot more power than you may think. Lord Shiva with transcendence, rise up. Honor your inner force. This is what you want, you know. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. The universe is saying, work with me. Light a candle or two, you know. Manifest this. Do some scripting. Let me know what you're looking for, and maybe I can push your person in the direction that you're looking for. But um, you got to honor your true nature and what you want this week, so... That's what I see for you guys, okay? You can hit me up on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Don't forget to like this video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, and that's what I have for you today. I love you. Uh, be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one. Now offering seven-day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love, psychic ability, clearing negative energy, passion, power, and more. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.